Hello, good afternoon. It's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets mid afternoon update. Okay, now, uh, where exactly are we positioned or where are we going? Okay, first of all, please do uh, visit tradesignaler.com, uh, signals and market updates from leading providers, uh, and I certainly post my analysis on there too. Tradesignaler.com, and you can access it via the Google Play and Apple App Store. Okay, in terms of uh, markets, let's look at the rundown from Asia first of all. Uh, Asian markets, Nikkei up 300, or whopping 350 points, so certainly risk on, as you can see with the USDJPY above 109. Uh, bias certainly remains bullish, folks. Okay, so looking for a potential move higher today. China, the swoop of yesterday, we certainly a uh, uh, hangover day today, I think. Really, it's uh, given the fact that the Hang Seng was, was positive yesterday. It's more to do with China. Now, let's just bring up the Chinese index. Let's see exactly where we are. Uh, in terms of the, uh, the Shanghai, because the Shanghai is quite important. It was a doji day, okay, so yeah, we certainly had the breakout from the rising contracting wedge pattern. Uh, we've put in the doji now, we've got an unfilled gap above. So looking with regards to the USD JPY back at 109, certainly is a good sign. Uh, you are looking for a potential move higher. Obviously you are going to face some resistance in this region here. You have a gap, okay, so looking for that potential gap to close. This move lower obviously was based on the weaker Chinese data. And obviously that's what triggered the potential gap to uh, to be created just below. If we do continue to flush, then you do have support uh, just below. Well, given the fact that we've held and it's a doji, then that certainly does uh, uh, relieve some of the pressure from the uh, global markets. Okay, and bear in mind you have an unfilled gap here, you have resistance here, and you have an ultimate unfilled gap above. We haven't made lower lows. We've put in a double top, double bottom ever since. And I do expect a higher high uh, potential test up to that 200 MA and gap fill above. So. China certainly seems to have stabilized to, to, uh, somewhat, okay? Now, in terms of um, looking at the Chinese markets, always look at the uh, the Kiwi and the Aussie, a very important charts, folks, for those of you that follow. Uh, the Kiwi certainly has been uh, sold off quite substantially. From my perspective, certainly remains oversold and is certainly due a bounce, okay, on the Kiwi. So, uh, and that will obviously uh, hinge upon the uh, US dollar as well to a large extent. But the Kiwi, even though the uh, dairy auction hasn't been ex uh, spectacular, and it hasn't been that weak either, so again, one to watch, okay, from my perspective. The Kiwi certainly remains oversold at this juncture, given the fact that we sold off from 0.705, and we were down quite substantially, okay, almost 8 to 900 pips. So certainly the Kiwi is one to buy. Okay, so given the fact that the Kiwi is one to buy, that should certainly help the FTSE move higher. Uh, the Aussie is USD is certainly into support. That should certainly help the FTSE 100. We're approaching that 200 MA. So from my perspective, I'm swing long the FTSE and I will remain swing long the FTSE. And I'm intraday long as well from 6118 with subscribers on the live analysis service. And we've had a spectacular week this uh, thus far, even though last week was a dismal one, okay? Uh, so certainly made back last week's losses and more, okay? So looking at a potential rally on the Aussie and Kiwi and therefore looking for a move higher on the FTSE. Uh, also bring up the price of oil. Oil is into support, holding support, therefore supports the uh, move higher on the FTSE. And therefore everything, or the, should we say the stars are aligning for a move higher. Okay, so my bias is bullish at this juncture. Now in terms of fundamentals, let's just look at the fundamental news or, uh, overnight. Uh, or should we say uh, this morning, we've had uh, a barrage of information. Uh, CPI data in China, obviously not as bad as expected. Okay, so certainly... Um, uh, on a year-on-year on year basis, not as bad. A week, a month on month came in in line. And a CPI year-on-year, year, April, slightly better. So the deflationary cycle certainly to a two... I mean, it's early days yet, but certainly uh, given the fact that the um, ex, uh, I mean, excessive amounts of stimulus and uh, monetary policy that's been an exercise, obviously rate cuts galore, and the amount of in, uh, liquidity that's been injected in China, it certainly is a, uh, a sad sight to see inflation still at around 3.4% on a year-on-year year basis. But... Nevertheless, it's been uh, contained to a large extent. Uh, German data certainly came in weak. Industrial production came in at minus 1.3%. Certainly not good reading. Uh, imports certainly weaker, so therefore, obviously, the rest of the Eurozone will suffer. Hence the reason why the FTSE is languishing at the moment. Okay. Uh, exports certainly stellar. Obviously, that's mainly due to the weaker uh, Euro to a large extent. Uh, trade balance certainly positive. As always, Germans are very good export uh, machines. Now, the industrial output from uh, France certainly came in weaker as well. And that certainly isn't a good sign, given the fact that, uh, as we know, uh, the Euro, USD and the QE concept certainly isn't helping either. OK, so that certainly remains a key. We had BRC like for like sales overnight from the UK, certainly coming weaker as well. So that certainly put uh, extra additional pressure on the FTSE. And we've had multiple earnings out this morning, certainly coming out on the negative side, the bearish side. Hence the reason why we had this sell off. OK, right. OK, but for now, we certainly have uh, stabilized and all the bearish news is baked into the market. OK. 
Right, in terms of uh, technicals now, let's just run down the technical factor and uh, see exactly where we stand now. Euro USD or Euro stock, should I say? Yes, we, as I did explain to you yesterday that we had a bottoming tail. We've seen a potential bottom in the uh, Euro stocks and now we're looking to potentially move higher back, higher back on that QE trade. 60 minute chart, we're making higher highs and higher lows. This trend remains bullish from my perspective. If you connect the uh, pivot lows together, you can clearly see that we are now into support and looking to potentially bounce. Okay, folks, so look for a move higher. Okay, now in terms of the uh, German DAX, let's bring up the German DAX, folks. You have this unfilled gap, and that which is a bugbear early, and we have closed that to a large extent now. So uh, certainly uh, stop being concerned with regards to that. Although you don't have an unfilled gap below. So watch out for that potentially closing as well. But yes, we are into support and gap fill support and looking for a potential bounce here on the German DAX. Okay, daily chart of German DAX is bringing up for you. I do expect a 200 MA to be tacked. If not, the uh, yeah, actual double top at 10400 plus. Okay, in terms of the French CAC, let's bring up the French CAC for you. A doji candle topping tail, certainly a slightly worrying sign. Having said that, the CAC has been weak regardless. We had this inverted in here, head and shoulders formation. Certainly hasn't failed. Uh, certainly has failed to follow through from that perspective. So for now, watch out for higher highs and higher lows. Okay, that certainly is the, uh, the zone to watch out for. In terms of the FTSE 100, uh, we have an inverted head and shoulders, folks. That's why I'm bullish. That's why I'm long six one way, and therefore looking to potentially move higher. Now the inverted head and shoulders target. Interesting. The inverted head and shoulders target. Let's work this out. AIHS equals. The neckline, which is around the uh, 6185 minus the head, which is down to uh, 6055, and you're looking for a projection. You know, it's 130 points there, folks. Okay, so 6210, 6315. Okay, that's the upside target. 6315 on the FTSE. Let's have a look at our 6315. 6315, you've got 6320. Ideal. That's your resistance on 6320. Okay, so watch out for 6320 on the FTSE. And certainly I am tilting towards the bullish side here. Okay, folks, as you know, oil is in support, Aussie Kiwi in support, uh, USD JPY 1109, Euro USD below 1.14. We're getting ready for a nice rally. Okay, that's what I can say. Right, okay, that's the scenario at this current juncture. Okay, uh, now the FTSE on the daily chart, like I said, we had that bottoming tail yesterday, certainly seemed to have seen the bottom to a large extent. And now looking to potentially uh, lay an assault on 6230 and then obviously 6400. So should be interesting to see how the FTSE uh, plays out. As always, great sensitivity to oil and uh, obviously general news flow from fundamentals as well. Okay, folks, I think that's a market wrap. I have to dash now to into the city centre. I have some mentoring um, to do with two students. So I uh, wish you the best and I uh, wish you the best for the remaining of trading day. My bias at this juncture is long fussy and looking to uh, obviously profit on that. Currently plus 13 points and counting. Looking for 6150 zone or 6140 and then I'll be out. Okay, uh, be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs. As always, folks, they are the uh, leading provider and specialist in spread betting as well. You do get a potential 25% bonus, so that certainly is a win-win situation for all. And uh, given the fact that you are getting capital or a boost in your potential capital to trade with, so that certainly is enticing for all new traders. And to, to get help, start off with, as always, uh, please do uh, make be aware of the risks involved in trading CFDs and high leverage products. And certainly uh, do your own research and do your own homework prior to uh, any, uh, obviously, uh, embracement of uh, this concept. Okay, uh, free, free trading and services at CFDs.com. Uh, so certainly visit and uh, goodbye from now.